Members of the Senate Health Committee have recommended that the Office of Director of Public Prosecutions and the Director of Criminal Investigation Institute further investigations on Dr. Jonah Manjari, KEMSA CEO, and the Board of Management of KEMSA over alleged misappropriation of some 7.6 billion shillings at the authority. In a report tabled at the Senate, the CEO and members of the board are said to have contravened procurement laws leading to the loss of the funds. In the meantime, members of the Public Investment Committee investigating the KEMSA scandal have pro protested the redeployment of the board chairperson, Kembe Gitura, to head the Communications Authority of Kenya, yet he's still under investigations in his, on his role in the KEMSA scandal. KTN senior political reporter Chris Tyro has more details. Senator Ali Abdullahi. After months of investigations and grilling of senior officials at Kemsa over the alleged misappropriation of 7.6 billion shillings, finally the Health Committee at the Senate tabled their report. Top on their recommendations is the immediate investigations by the DCI and the office of the DPP of the suspended CEO of KEMSA, Dr. Jonah Manjari, the chairman of the board, former Moranga Senator Kembe Gitura, and members of the board. Others to be investigated include the finance manager, Waiganjo Karanja, the procurement director, Charles Juma, as well as Edward Murevi, who is one of the directors. Further, the report has recommended that the companies that were awarded tenders be investigated to determine if there was any collusion between the CEO Kemsa and the board of management of Kemsa, as well as the directors of the companies. The report has given both the DCI and the DPP 30 days from the day the report is tabled to conclude the investigations. According to the members, the CEO and members of the board contravened the procurement laws, hence should be held responsible for the loss of over 7 billion shillings. To determine processing of payments for companies that supplied COVID-19 goods to KEMSA. Meanwhile, members of the Public Investment Committee have taken issue with the President for the redeployment of KEMSA Board Chairman Kembi Gitura to head the Communications Authority of Kenya. According to the members, the former legislator is still under investigations over the KEMSA scandal. For the, the chairman, way. you should also tell the executive to respect these committees. We will, do that through, through, we will do that through our report. It is clear. It has been already announced. What other confirmation do we require from the member? Yes. It is there. This is the excesses of the executive yes. of making appointments. Suspended Chief Officer Jonah Manjari had, while appearing before the committee, mentioned Gitura, revealing that he was aware of the commitments that the agency entered into the various suppliers for COVID-19 equipment. In this case, what is so special that we are still interrogating other officers, he's mentioned, He's being promoted to another institution. I understand. And, 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 uh, and I understand and I am aware. I'm, re I'm repeating this again. It is not us who mentioned that that gentleman was seated in that office when these commitment letters were being given. It is the former CEO who confirmed this. It is only fair for that senator to be able to come in front of us and be able to now confirm and say that whether those things that were said were true or not. At the same time, the MPs raised concerns why finance director Waiganjo Karanja, and who appeared before the committee for grilling on Tuesday, was not suspended alongside Manjari, the procurement director Charles Juma, and the commercial director Eliud Murevi, after it emerged that his office was central in signing vouchers for payments in some of the supplies. Who were signatories to payments of goods and services provided to camps? The signatories to the payment? Yes. It was the CEO and one other category B signatory, of which it could be me or one other signatory. <laughs> who, who is the other? <laughs> that time it was, the other was the commercial director. You're trying to tell me that there are payments that would bypass your department? Yes, Chairman. There, there are payments that would bypass the finance department? Yes, What kind of system, huh? I think that is a good information. Let us have that analysis. Now that's the reason they did not pay some of these companies, either within time or none at all, is because some of those companies were too clean to have uh, any issue, uh, financial or otherwise, to have compromised their... Uh, the officers. 
the officials also came under pressure to respond to claims that some farms were paid in record time while others were yet to get their payments even after delivering COVID-19 items. The committee is yet to conclude their grilling before they retreat to prepare a report. Chris Dairu, KTN News. Let's go back to the COVID-19 vaccine now. In Deputy